1950, probably that was one of the turning point years in the history of computers. And when computers were first put to use in the public domain, many newspapers wrote that probably computers are a thing of museum and it will never be in the public domain for long. Fast forward 72 years, today computers are being used to run not just the government but every aspect of our life, whether it is airlines or whether it is our mobile. It's all a computer, right? So if computers can be used everywhere, right from spacecraft, why not in drug discovery? And this particular thought kept the you know, discoverers and researchers thinking, how can we apply the computers into our research domain and benefit from it? How can we get the maximum output in drug discovery using computers? Or Ashkal to Zamana AI ka hai, artificial intelligence. While I am talking about computer aided drug design today, let me update you with this excellent news. Computers, artificial intelligence has been used for the first time in the world to discover an enzyme which can eat plastics. Isn't that amazing? So CADD is that aspect of computers, that particular aspect of our life, which is going to accelerate our life, accelerate drug discovery in our life. You see, earlier, one antibiotic took billions of dollars and, you know, 10 years or 20 years, 30 years to discover one antibiotic. But today, with the help of computers and in future artificial intelligence as well, and of course, CADD, we will be able to discover 1000 drugs in one year. Yes, you heard me right. That's the speed at which things are moving today. But if you stay behind in this computer revolution, then I would say that it's injustice to you and to us. So it's my duty today to tell you something about CADD and how it is revolutionizing the world of drug discovery today. So the first thing which I wanted to showcase here is the IPL which keeps going between disease and drugs, right? So you, what is IPL? Indian Premier League of Cricket, right? In between Kolkata Knight Riders and you know Daredevils, Delhi Daredevils. Same way, all the time. Disease versus drugs. Disease will always evolve. Bacteria, viruses will always mutate and adapt. Bacteria adapts, viruses mutates. And on the top of it, drug will develop resistance. After a few days, no effect. So as microbes improvise, our researchers must look for better, much efficient drugs. And that is where our researchers thought. They are improving, they are adapting, they are mutating faster than we are innovating. So one day humanity will be dead. Is that so? No. We have computers. So that's where we must look for much more efficient drugs, faster. And computers will come hand in this battle. We have our ninja in this battle against disease and drug resistance. And that is computers. So CADD is one such area where all these things are happening. CADD stands for Computer Aided Drug Design. It is used in finding, developing and analyzing drugs and medicines related to biologically active compounds using computer methodology. How? Let me explain. Now, it is an indispensable tool in the long process of drug discovery and development. Now, if I say dr drug discovery and development, the first thing which comes in our mind is wet lab. But the truth is, using computer in dry lab itself, we can find out which particular drug moiety will, will fit with which receptor, which particular drug moiety will fit in with which enzyme, which protein. And that is how we can modulate an outcome based on the reaction inside the virtual environment of computers. Because Computers allow us to visualize a molecule in a 3D world, right? In a 3D shape. So we can always see if it fits in, if it will interact, it will react. So that's where CADD comes into picture. Now, we have an excellent certification course, which is running for computer aided drug design. The link is given in the description. You can always take advantage of that. Now let me come to 
uses and advantages of CADD. Now, the first is CADD is using the computing power. Now, we always know computing power is much more uh, scalable, predictable, and repeatable compared to human mind, right? So the efficiency is much higher, right? So that means we can streamline our drug discovery and development process from zero to 100x. That's the first benefit. Second, most recently it was used in proposing drug candidates for even the coronavirus disease. Now what happened in COVID-19? It is mutating every one month new version of mobile. No, COVID-19 is coming. In 2019, what was happening? Every new month, new version of mobile. In 2020, every new version of COVID. So how our researchers could beat COVID is because of CADD, bioinformatics, molecular docking, and yes, this is where we leverage the chemical and biological information which is already available for about the ligands and their targets to identify and optimize new drugs. So if we see, okay, this new drug I have found, it has got this particular function group which automatically, which, which will create the three-dimensional structure in this way, it will go and bind with the target molecule so the effect will be there. Now, it helps in designing in silico filters to eliminate compounds. Now, elimination is also very important. Now, suppose I got 15 drug moieties. Which one will be most efficient? I can eliminate here which one is non-efficient, right? That all can be done inside the computer, in the virtual world, right? So, now the researcher will save on time. He has eliminated all the unnecessary ones. He'll just pick the, the one which is most efficient and he will implement that right so we can also check out the toxicity ADMET excretion bioavailability metabolism distribution of the drug right inside our body because our body is nothing but a system of uh, uh, a lot of target molecules are there so how much time it will take for the bioavailability how much time it will take to metabolize how much time it will take to excrete while excreting will it bind with any kidney moiety kidney uh, you know uh, cell and it will cre create an uh, aberration all that we can check inside the CADD itself so that's a benefit the next one is speed it's all about speed so it will speed up your early stage chemical development. So drugs are nothing but chemicals. Now these chemicals, we have to speed up their process because if, if this is the filtration, suppose this is the funnel, if 100 moieties we decide to test today in wet lab, it will take me at least 10 years. So we'll finish up you know, uh, screening all these molecules. But if we do it within a computer, we'll be able to do it within maybe a month or a, you know, a week. So virtual screening, virtual library design, lead optimization, de novo design, and other computational approaches are all covered in CADD. Now, all these things are happening inside. So we can do the screening of the drug molecule, which one is better, okay, of efficiency wise. Then we can maintain library of uh, all the drug molecules so that we can always cross verify whether this has already been done or uh, will, what will be the effect because a similar moiety had this effect. Then optimization, we can further remove a functional group, add another functional group and see if what is the effect. So all this, this is covered in CADD. Now it also provides options for understanding the chemical systems of diff, uh, in different ways, yielding information that is not easy to obtain in laboratory analysis. Now laboratory, we cannot get 100 situations. We can only create 10 situations, 10 um, in, in vivo conditions inside the lab. But the same thing can be achieved virtually 100 times, okay, 100 different ways the chemical may react to the body. So all that can be done. So basically what we're doing is we are improving the speed. Is this not, not all about speed? Yes. So that's the benefit of CADD. Now, why biologists must learn CADD, why you must learn, why everybody must learn CADD is because in addition to molecular docking, CADD helps to streamline the process of drug discovery. It will help you make it faster, make it streamline, okay? In a sequence. Now, drug discovery usually takes a decade and billions of dollars, like I said. But using CADD and molecular docking, you can do it in minutes. So you save billions of dollars and you save a lot of time for the company. So what happens? You become worth billions of dollars when you save a billion for the company. Isn't that great? Now it can help in optimization of known drugs, guiding the design of new drugs with improved activity. Now, if you see in biotech industry, in the biopharma industry, the majority companies are in the biopharma. 
okay majority companies are in biopharma because obviously, obviously a lot of disease a lot of pandemics epidemics keeps happening so the demand for CADD, molecular docking is always going up. It's never going down. On the top of it, this is an interdisciplinary field. So you're combining the speed of computers with the, your exp experience and expertise in biology. When you combine both, that is where a explosion happens, explosion of opportunities. Now, like I have always said in my previous session, you, you should have a T-shaped personality. That means you should have a broad understanding let me write B here, a broad understanding of multiple topics from multiple domains. And this should be D. D means deep. One domain which you should have the most deep understanding. So you have already got the deep understanding of biology. All you need is a broad understanding of how CADD and molecular docking works. This kind of T-shaped personality is where you will be always in demand no matter wherever you go. Right? You see, our education system is not at par with what's happening in the industry. CADD and molecular docking is being used at every aspect of drug discovery today. If you do not learn today, you will be left out. You will stay out of the crowd if you study this. If you want to be a, a part of the crowd, then you will not study this. You will just remember the MSc syllabus. That's not worth. The, the real value comes when you save billions of dollars for a company. And you can do that using CADD for drug discovery. A lot of other stuff which is there on your screen right now. Wide range of diseases can be targeted. Okay. It helps in rationally designing drugs so that, you know, we can have a multi-targeting effect. So one drug which help, which is a super drug which attacks multiple diseases. If you're a researcher of today, then it is in the best interest that you constantly keep up with that trend. So what is trending today? Drug discovery is a trending topic. It will always be. And we are always constantly against the race of time and techniques to achieve desired results. Because remember this, it's not just COVID, coronavirus. Every virus is mutating. Every bacteria is adapting. And that is where drug resistance is a real thing. And newer drug discovery is a difficult thing. You can, I can bet this for you actually, that post-pandemic, there is a pressing need for well-versed bioinformaticians. Remember, Moderna found out the vaccine using bioinformatics and that bioinformatician was an Indian, if you remember, correct? So if he can do that, why can't you? You can be the savior of tomorrow's pandemic, but tomorrow's pandemic savior, superhero, has to be equipped today. And CADD will do that for you. Now, are you eligible? So, of course, you need to have a prior knowledge of the chemistry and biotechnology, like I said, deep domain knowledge, and you're automatically eligible to enroll for this course. So, initially, you have to get started with the basics. If you are a graduate, postgraduate, or even you are a teaching or industry professional, you are most welcome to join the course. The link is given in the description. The price, is of the price of the course is lesser than, I think, 1,500. I'm not sure of the exact price. You can check out the description. It's very low price, 1,500 rupees or less. So if you are a research enthusiast or somebody who wants to learn about computers and you, know, you are interested in bioinformatics, you can always go for this short course, short service certification course which gets you the lifetime access okay now here are the modules which we will be covering in this 20 days course so we start with the um, introduction of CADD then we switch to the module 2 which is ligand based drug design which is called as pharmacophore design then the model 3 which is structure based drug design which is called as ta target ligand docking now the fourth is significance and limitations of CADD in dis uh, drug discovery and development so we also discuss about the importance and limitations then we will have some case studies for you in module number 5 and the link for the detailed course curriculum is given in the description of this video do check it out and find out if this can be useful for you. I am sure, 100% sure that it is going to revolutionize your research career, your drug discovery career. Now, what are the perks of enrolling with Biotechnica? So you're getting a free ebook if you're enrolling today. And it's a career oriented course. You can study at your own pace. So there's nothing like a hard and fast rule that you need to complete in 20 days. You can take 25 days. Hard copy certificate is dispatched after you have given the quiz. The, 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 at the end of certification course, there will be a test. So once you write that, you pass, then you get the hard copy certificate. The activation is instant. As soon as you enroll for the course, you'll get an email with the activation link. And you get lifetime access so that any changes in future in the CADD uh, 
domain happens, you will also be updated about it. You get 24 seven chat support, whatever doubts you have, you can always ask in chat and they will guide you. And the best part, you can learn on the go anywhere through your mobile, through your laptop. All you need is a good internet connection. Okay, so that's where uh, this comes, uh, this particular course. Now, who better than the the industry expert for last 15 years, Biotechnica. We have been in this industry. We have seen it transformed from the wet lab drug discovery and switch over to the drug discovery today, which is powered by CADD, bioinformatics and uh, molecular, molecular docking. So this is all about the perks of enrolling. Moving ahead, how to enroll. So here's a link, okay, btnk.org slash CADD. Or you can call us on our toll-free numbers, 1-800-1200-1818. Or you can dial this number. This is a toll number, 080-509-7000. You can dial any of these numbers, okay, and you can uh, talk to a admission counselor. Otherwise, you can always click on this link. The link is given in the description and you can chat with all of us. So this is all about the CADD course at Biotechnica, the certification course, which has revolutionized the life of so many people out there. And I invite all of you to join us in this excellent course, which is going to not just help you in your drug discovery career, but it will be an add on to your CV. It will show how much enthusiastic you are, enthusiastic you are about your future. And that definitely impacts you when you are going to any interview right? Whether it is a PhD interview, whether it is a job interview, it always impacts because people know, okay, you already have this and they start asking you questions from this particular uh, course. And then, you know, when they see that you're a master of this particular thing, your chances of getting hired is higher. Even if it is not a CADD job, still you will get that. So this is all about the details of CADD. I'll see you around in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.